The Prime Minister is on her way to Vietnam and the East Asian Summit of Regional Leaders. On the agenda, China's territorial row with its neighbours and human rights in Burma. Julie Gillard will also stop in Indonesia for a state visit, where she'll discuss the issue of people smuggling and step up her push for a regional processing centre in East Timor. Leave Caspin reports from Canberra. She's made no secret of the fact that foreign affairs is not her calling, but as her partner joined the Prime Minister for his first official overseas trip, it was all smiles. Julia Gillard's five-day tour of Asia will include talks with regional leaders from India and China at the East Asia Summit in Hanoi. Certainly the rise of China is uh, something that is on uh, everybody's mind in terms of global politics. It is the uh, phenomenon of our age and the ever strengthening of India too is also making a very big difference to our world and our region. But it's the Prime Minister who wants to make a difference on people smuggling. As she stops in Indonesia on her way home, she'll press her plan for a regional processing centre in East Timor. Privately, she'll lobby the Indonesian government over convicted drug smugglers Chappelle Corby and the Bali Nine. It's certainly in the best interests of those individuals for me to be doing that discussion uh, privately rather than publicly. And it's the Prime Minister's next overseas visit for the APEC leaders meeting in Japan that Julia Gillard will hold her first face-to-face -face meeting with the US President Barack Obama. The war in Afghanistan will be top of that agenda. We are committed uh, to further economic reform. But it's domestic politics that the federal opposition leader remains focused on as he moved to reclaim the high ground on economic reform. Two weeks ago, Prime Minister Gillard gave a speech titled Reform is not easy, but it works. The measures she described as reforms involve massive new taxes or massive additional spending. Spending money is not reform. Restructuring the economy would be reform. The opposition leader again took a swipe at the government's national broadband network. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the only economic Hansenism currently on offer. <laughs> And he says he's partial to the recommendations at the Henry Tax Review, including a flat tax rate that would kick in at $25,000 for those on incomes up to $180,000 a year. Leave Casbin, ABC News, Canberra.